So boiling of water is an incredibly useful process. Uh, it allows us to move a lot of heat very effectively and you often see it in many different industries. In fact, most of the world's electricity uh, comes from power plants that run some sort of steam cycle. But the way in which water boils is basically controlled by the formation of these bubbles. And we've never had great control of these, how these bubbles are generated. And what we've been trying to do is, in fact, change this boiling process in a way such that we can maximize the efficiency of the system or improve the heat transfer performance. So what we can do here is use these surfactant molecules, which are commonly known as detergents, essentially. And what we do here is by applying an electric field, we can allow these surfactant molecules to absorb to the surface. And in this process of having these molecules on the surface, you can initiate the boiling process and have bubbles form. And now when you now change polarity of the field or reduce the field in a way, then you can in fact allow these surfactant molecules to move away from the surface and turn off the bubble generation process. Fundamentally, we've never really thought about boiling in this way where it's, it's sort of a controllable process. The analogy I like to use is the electrical resistor, right? A boiling is basically like an electrical resistance that resistance never changes. However, what we've done is we've kind of created a, a transistor in, in a way uh, where we can change the thermal resistance on the fly. And so this process that we've always thought of as this very passive process of just moving energy across the thermal resistance is fundamentally different now. With our approach, what we're able to do is be able to modulate the ability to improve the efficiency or the performance of these systems on demand. We can control the steam output, we can control the temperature, and perhaps there's a lot of applications that we just haven't even thought of in terms of energy and moving heat uh, that we could now do if we have something that's you know, that acts more like a thermal transistor.